Hello everyone, welcome if you're new here and welcome back if you are a returner. I just wanna take a moment to thank everyone who's been supporting my channel by watching my videos, liking, sharing, and subscribing. It means a lot to me, so thank you so much. If you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. Consider subscribing. I talk about productivity and organization tips, tools, and resources. So if you're into things like that, you will probably like the content that I put out. I post a video every Tuesday. This year was very challenging for most people that I know, including myself. A lot of things happened that were unexpected that maybe threw you off your game. But for some people, they used that as an opportunity to kind of reinvent themselves or become reborn, to reimagine what their life could be and what their life will be for the upcoming year. With that in mind, today's video is gonna focus on setting goals. I'm gonna split this up into two videos. In this first video, I'm gonna outline step-by-step step how you can set up achievable goals. I promise to make no mention of SMART goals or anything like that. This is gonna be practical, direct advice, a formula that you can apply right now as you're watching this video. Setting up the goals is actually the easy part. The hard part is achieving them. In my next video, I'm gonna outline my foolproof way to achieve the goals that you've set for yourself. And I'll even talk about how I applied this exact formula to achieve my goal of completing my marathon with pretty much no experience running. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you get alerted when I post that video. So if you're looking forward to all that the next year will bring to you and you have big goals planned for yourself, but need a little bit of guidance in knowing where to start to make sure that you're able to be successful, definitely keep watching. So the very first step in goal setting is to find out why. Why are you setting the goals that you're setting? But really more importantly than that, what is the purpose of going after these goals? What is the purpose of even achieving these goals? What are you passionate about? What lights your fire? What do you feel is your life's purpose, the reason you're here on this earth? Being able to start here is really the foundation. A lot of people in their goal setting leave this part to the end. I find that to be a bit backwards because I can justify anything I want to and just put my purpose at the end. But if I flip it on its head and I start with where I wanna go, then I can take steps and work backwards to get where I want to be. All of the goals that you set are going to be with this core purpose in mind, this core vision. And all the goals that you set are getting you closer to being that higher version of yourself. Once you start here, goal setting is so much easier. Without this step, you're randomly throwing darts at a dartboard and hoping something will stick. If you're goal setting for professional purposes, maybe this is a strategic plan or an annual plan, the vision or purpose for your organization or department is likely set by the organization or department. So you're pretty fortunate in that regard. You don't really have to figure out the larger departments why, but it might be important to figure out your role. So if you have a job within that department, what is that job's purpose? Why does that job exist? Once you've established your purpose, your destination, or where you're going, narrow down your focus. So if your vision is to become a vice president for student affairs, or a director of a functional area, or a dean, think about what kinds of experiences, skills would you need in order for you to be that person? What have you done? What have you achieved? What have you experienced? And for some people, they don't know the answer to this and this is where they get stuck. So talk with people in your network. Maybe you know people who have achieved the goals that you're interested in. Ask them what they've done. Keep in mind their experience isn't necessarily going to be the same as yours, but after a while you'll probably notice trends. If over and over again people talking about getting an advanced degree or over and over again they talk about leadership development, then you might start to recognize, ooh, I might need to get an advanced degree or ooh, I need to work on my leadership development. So do a bit of research where you can to find out what's allowed other people to be successful and use that when you're developing your own goals. If you just guess, your guess might not be effective and it can be really discouraging when you're trying something and it's not working. So work smarter, not harder, and lean on your network. 
So if I talk to people and I repeatedly hear some of these same things, I might identify some things that I need to do to put myself in a position to be a stronger candidate as a vice president of student affairs. So I might decide that I need to get an advanced degree, get additional experience in a variety of functional areas, get supervisory experience, get budgetary experience, and have some leadership training or leadership experience. Each of those things could be a goal, but there's also goals within those goals. So I can really narrow it down to a focused area that I want to pay attention to for the next year or three or five years, depending on how long the goals are that you're setting. So while I have an ultimate larger goal of becoming a vice president, that's a couple of years out. It's not something I'm going to achieve in the next year or two or 10. But given the timeline that I have, what can I do? So for myself, I can work backwards to figure out a timeline for how long it's gonna take me to achieve this goal. Remember, as you're narrowing this down, always keep in mind in the back of your head, how is this goal getting me closer to the person I want to be? What is my why? If you have lost sight of your why, or you can't easily answer that question, then the goal that you're working on might not be the best goal for you right now. In my next video, I'm gonna go into more detail where I talk about how you can specifically achieve these goals. This is just about setting the goals right now. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss when I drop that video. So we have our vision, we've set our focus. Now we're going to actually create our goals, identify what our goals are. So from the areas that we just talked about in the last step, pick three to five areas to focus on specifically and these are going to be your goals. The longer your timeline, the larger your goal could be. So if you have a timeline of a year, then a good goal might be applying to graduate schools because that's about a one year process between finding a school, applying and being accepted. Think about what would be easy to do within the time frame that you have. Not saying that the task will be easy, but that completing the task will be easy. I ran a marathon a couple of years ago, and I'll talk about that in my next video. The task of running a marathon is very challenging, but I had six hours to do it. Completing 26.2 miles in six hours was not as challenging as completing it in four hours. So being realistic about what makes sense given the amount of work that you have to do. As you're doing this for each of your goals, recognize that some of your goals aren't going to have the same time frame. Some of them you might be able to do relatively easily and quickly, and others might take a little bit longer, and that's okay. It's actually ideal. It's kind of like when you're in college, you have some classes that are really, really challenging, some classes that are kind of in the middle, and then maybe one class that's just like a no-brainer class for you. Same thing with your goals. You don't wanna have all high intensity, tons of effort goals. In this hustle harder culture, that can lead to burnout and frustration. So try to give yourself maybe a really high reach goal, a mid reach goal, and then kind of an easier to reach goal. It helps with motivation and it helps to keep you focused. You want your goals to be challenging enough to help you grow, but not so challenging that you fail repeatedly and don't have the support that you need to be successful. Think about the goals that you've been able to achieve in the past and use those as a jumping off point for what makes sense for you. Alternatively, think about where you've not been successful in the past and use that to avoid any pitfalls related to your personality or your time or your interest. Goal setting is really important for any type of growth. Change is required for growth. You cannot keep doing the same thing that you've been doing and expect different results. So finding opportunities to improve, to grow continuously will help you every single year to get closer and closer to being that version of yourself that you want to be. Identify your vision, your purpose, narrow down your focus, and set your goals. Set your goals that are achievable for you with the timeline that you have. So now that we have our goals, how do we go about actually achieving them? If you found this helpful and you know other people that are interested in goal setting for next year, share this video with them, like and leave a comment below. What are some goals that you're hoping to achieve in the next year? Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.